Welcome to the Phone Arena video review of the LG Vortex. The Vortex is simply the Optimus 1 for Verizon Wireless that's been renamed. Like the Optimus T and Optimus S we've reviewed before this, our feelings remain basically unchanged. It's a fantastic entry-level phone that can compete and generally beat the mid-range phones in the markets. If you're not looking for a super high-end device, the Vortex is something you should strongly consider. Fit and finish is fantastic. The phone feels great in your hand. There's a lot of soft touch paint around it, and the phone is very comfortable to hold, put in your pocket, and have next to your ear. The design is rather straightforward. You have a 3.2 inch display, which is bright, crisp, and generally vivid. It's not as shocking as, say, the Droid Incredible or the Samsung Fascinate. However, this is only a $50 phone, which can also be found free at some times. Design-wise, it has a little bit of a rework, like the Optimus S from Sprint did, over the original Optimus 1. The biggest difference is the four keys down at the bottom. The function, of course, remains the same, as these are the standard and Android keys, but it gives the Vortex a bit of a unique individual personality. On the left side of the phone, we find the micro SD slot. The right has the volume rocker. Up top is the 3.5 millimeter headset jack and power button. And on the bottom, we find the micro USB charging and data port and the microphone. The back is very plain and nondescript, no branding whatsoever. We do have a 3.2 megapixel camera and there's a single speaker for the phone. The software on the Vortex is similar to what we found on the original Optimus One, with LG's simple overlay on Android. There's not too much here, just a few custom widgets that we actually pretty much like, as well as this different launcher bar. They also break down the applications and the downloads, something we're not extremely fond of. However, you can rename things and move them around. One of the issues we do have with this phone is the preloaded software. There are many, many titles, and not all of them are necessary. Something like Think Free Office is probably pretty handy, and we can understand that Verizon has their VCast software in there. However, things like Tetris Demos, Skype Mobile, Slacker, Scrabble, and other things are all capable of being downloaded from the market if the user wants them. Still, the Vortex ran rather quickly. We didn't have any issues with stuttering, which is something we've seen from the Optimus line in the past. Overall, it's an extremely good phone, with the only weakness being the camera. Photos weren't very good, the colors lacked umph, for lack of a better word, and they were just kind of bland. The videos were okay as well, but at a $50 phone, we can't complain too much. This is really something that you should consider when buying a new phone, even if you're looking at a device like the Droid Incredible. It's nothing in that range, however, with such a cheap price and such strong performance, it definitely garners a look.